bookworms! Today I'm here with a video which is something that I haven't done in years but I really wanted to do a bookshelf tour and those just work best as a video. Usually you can find me in my blog Annie the Book Princess and I'm gonna leave a link to that down below in the video description so be sure to head over there and check that out. So um, yeah about my bookshelves. I actually got some new shelves last summer and I moved the majority of my book collection from my old shelves out in the hallway into my living room so now I can sit here and stare at them all day which is honestly awesome. So without further ado let's just get straight into the tour and let me show you my bookshelves. So these are my bookshelves as you can see I have rainbow shelves and I reorganized them like that a couple of years ago which honestly was a bit strange at first and took some getting used to but now I wouldn't want any other sorting system because it just looks so pretty. I'm gonna start my tour at the top left corner with the white books and then move down the left shelf, then move over to the middle and finally to the small one on the right. So this is my white shelf. I have my Wonder Woman comic on top, which is Wonder Woman Year One by Greg Rucka. Then I have this little wooden box that's actually uh, empty. And my mom gave it to me and I think it looked pretty on here. And I have this little bird as a decoration. <laughs> then I have the entire Throne of Glass series in German, because when I started to read the series, I didn't read as much in English as I do now and I hate changing editions in the middle of a series and that's why I just got the entire series in German. So we have Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Air of Fire, Queen of Shadows, Empire of Storm, Tower of Dawn and finally Kingdom of Ash, all by Sarah J Maas. Then I have the German edition of The Program by Susan Young, the first in a YA dystopian trilogy, Dark Inside by Jane Roberts, a YA post-apocalyptic, the German middle grade fantasy Menduria, Das Buch der Welten by Ella Mang, which translates to The Book of Worlds, Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard, Matched by Ellie Condi, Warcross by Marie Lou. I have a signed edition of that that I found in a bookstore in San Francisco on vacation and I honestly was the happiest person alive when I found this because Mary Lou is one of my favorite authors. Next I have New World Rising, Ashes and Inferno, all by Jennifer Wilson, a lesser known YA dystopian trilogy, the German edition of Truth Witch by Susan Dennard, and Restore Me by Tahiri Martin. Next are my purple and red books. I have this candle as a decoration here. And then I have Heart of Iron by Ashley Poston. I actually have this one with uh, self-painted galaxy edges. The Quiet at the End of the World by Lauren James. City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare. Sky Hunter by Marie Lou. The Loneliest Girl in the Universe by Lauren James. The Thirteen Curses by Michelle Harrison, which is the second book in a middle grade fantasy series. Traitor to the Throne by Elvin Hamilton. Alliances, A Trick of Light by Stan Lee and Kat Rosenfield. Scar by Alice Broadway, the third book in a YA dystopian trilogy that has one of the prettiest covers ever in my opinion. Shades of Earth by Beth Revis. Divergent by Veronica Roth. The German edition of New Moon by Stephanie Mayer. Kufu Moon by Heike Eva Schmidt, a German YA historical fantasy about the witch trials of Germany. The German edition of Unleashed by Sophie Jordan. Delirium by Lauren Oliver. City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare. Paper Towns by John Green. And as you can see, I have the movie tie-in edition because I just bought this on the go when I was waiting at the train station and I didn't have a book with me. The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid. Hero at the Fall by Elvin Hamilton. The German edition of Days of Blood and Starlight by Laini Taylor. And I got this entire trilogy in German because this is actually one of the rare cases where I prefer the German covers over the English originals. And finally, Spark by Alice Broadway. Next up are my green or greenish books, starting with the German edition of Allegiant by Veronica Roth, Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, Doors X by Marcus Heitz, a German adult fantasy, The Thirteen Treasures by Michelle Harrison, which is the first book in the trilogy, and I really highly recommend it if you want a magical middle grade adventure about elves and friendship. Uninvited by Sophie Jordan, Norse Mythology by Neil Gaiman, Storm of Locusts by Rebecca Rowanhorse, which is the second book in a Native American inspired adult post-apocalyptic fantasy series. I know this sounds complicated, but trust me, those books are amazing. I highly recommend them. Next is The Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo, Lady Midnight and Lord of Shadows by Cassandra Clare, Timeless by Alexandra Munir, Through the Evernight by Veronica Rossi, Nimona by Noelle Stevenson, which is a graphic novel, Talented by Alexandra Moody, the second book in a YA post-apocalyptic slash dystopian series, The Surface Breaks by Louise O'Neill, that's a feminist retelling of The Little Mermaid, Contagion by Erin Bowman, The German Fantasy Splitterwelten by Christoph Dittert and Michael Peinkofer, Rebel of the Sands by Elwyn Hamilton, the German edition of The Eye of Minds by James Dashner, and the German edition of Wings by April and Pike. Next are my dark blue books and already blending over into black. First I have Last Star Burning by Caitlin Sangster, Sky War by Brandon Sanderson, one of my favorite books ever since I read it early 2020, and I actually have this old pilot pin to go with it which belonged to my dad. 
Next is The Valen by Leslie Livingston, the first in the YA historical fantasy trilogy, which is actually another one of my favorite trilogies. Dead of Night by M.R. Forbes. I haven't read this one yet, but I got it at a book sale for just one euro a couple of years ago. A Closed and Common Orbit by Becky Chambers. Wonder Woman Warbringer by Lee Bardugo. Four by Veronica Roth. Heart of the Mark by Veronica Roth. Warstorm by Victoria Aveyard. I'm currently reading this one, as you can see. The German edition of Infury Born by David Weber. Then I have the 20th anniversary Ravenclaw edition of Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by J.K. Rowling. The German edition of Bring Me the Hearts by Sarah Wolf. Schattenauge by Nina Blason, a German mystery romance. Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld. The Hundred by Cass Morgan. And The Host by Stephanie Mayer. And finally, on this left shelf, I have a couple of brown and grayish books. First is this very old candle that once smelled like vanilla. Then I have Into the Still Blue by Veronica Rossi. The Winner's Curse by Marie Rutkowski. Pandemonium by Lauren Oliver. The Winter Horses by Philip Kerr, a historical fiction. The German fantasy book Muta by Frank Rehfeld. Prized by Kara O'Brien, the second book in the YA dystopian trilogy. The German edition of Death Sworn by Leah Seifers. I don't know why they changed the title to Death Mark. Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jay Christoph. Schattenschwingen by Tanja Heitmann, a German mystery romance that will translate to Shadow Swings or Shadow Wings. Legend by Marie Lu, which is another one of my all-time favorite books and the reason she's one of my favorite authors. The German edition of Dark Dawn by Jay Kristoff. Starside by Brandon Sanderson. Seven Devils by Laura Lem and Elizabeth May, which is an adult science fiction book with an almost all-female cast of characters. And finally, The Air by Kira Cass. Seven Devils by... Now I'm moving on to my second big shelf and I'm gonna start at the top again with the rest of my white books and as you can see they're already blending over into pink and purple. First I have this lovely scented candle that says thank you and it was a gift from my uh, colleagues at my old workplace. First I have my Marvel comic which is Avengers World by Jonathan Hickman. Next are the German editions of The Rose Society and the Midnight Star by Marie Lu, Nevernight and God's Grave by Jay Kristoff, Prodigy and Champion by Marie Lu, and The Legend Graphic Novel, Grim Space by Anne Aguirre, which is a science fiction novel, A Certain Slant of Light by Laura Whitcomb, The German edition of Unearthed by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner, the first book in their duology, and it says Undying on the title, which is a bit irritating because this is actually the title of the second book in English. Next is The Ember Project by J.N. Cheney, which is a young adult dystopia slash post apocalyptic novel, Wolkenschloss by Kerstin Gia, translated to A Castle in the Clouds, The Defiant by Leslie Livingston, Insurgent by Veronica Roth, The Wonder Woman Warbringer graphic novel by Lee Bardugo, The Burning Maze by Rick Riordan, the third book in the Trials of Apollo series. I got this about two years ago and I still haven't read it because I have to read the second book in the series first. And finally, the German edition of The Diviners by Libba Bray. Next up are my orange, yellow and the beginning of my green books. I have another sanded candle over here and this old green bottle where I removed the label because I thought it looked fancy on here. So we have Ink by Alice Broadway, Dark Matter by Blake Crouch, an adult science fiction novel and one of my favorites. Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is another one of my all-time favorite trilogies. The 13 Secrets by Michelle Harrison. Doors! Exclamation mark by Marcus Heitz. Dreams of Gods and Monsters by Laini Taylor. Undying by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. And this is kind of weird because now I have two books titled Undying on my shelves. But I had to get this one in English because they didn't translate the second one into German anymore. So now they don't match. Which sucks, but at least I could read it. King of Scars by Lee Bardugo. The German edition of Sea of Ink and Gold by Tracy G. Trail of Lightning by Rebecca Rowanhorst. This is the first book in her Native American fantasy series that I already mentioned earlier. Chaos, Touching Soul by Lynn Rina, a German sci-fi romance. Dark Canopy by Jennifer Benkow, a German dystopia. The Triumphant by Leslie Livingston. Breaking Dawn by Stephanie Mayer. Dark Run by Mike Brooks. The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Susan Collins. And Zweilich by Nina Blanzon, another German romantasy. Now I have my blue books. First I have this scented Ravenclaw candle, which I got recently from the Etsy shop Storytime and Candles. The first book on here is Pandora, Wo von Träumst du? by Eva Siegmund, a German YA dystopia that you could translate to What Do You Dream Of? Glass Sword and King's Cage by Victoria Aveyard. Steelheart by Brandon Sanderson. The German edition of Admission by Barry Johnsberg. Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Tainted by Alexandra Moody. Small Blue Thing by S.C. Ransom. The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Maas. Strange the Dreamer by Laini Taylor, Tintin Toad by Cornelia Funke, the third book in the Inkheart trilogy, Birthmark by Kara O'Brien, the German edition of This Shattered World by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner, Fallen by Lauren Kate, Rebel by Marie Lou, Sanctuary by Karen Licks, and Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Laini Taylor. 
Moving on to the black box. First, I have this tiny little dagger, which is actually a letter opener. Then I have Cyber Trips and Beta Hearts by Marie Grasshoff, the second and third book in a German sci-fi cyberpunk trilogy. Sky in the Deep by Adrienne Young. Heartless by Marissa Mayer. Reboot by Amy Tintera. Eclipse by Stephanie Mayer. The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. Iron Man by Peter David. This is the novelization of the first movie. The Hunger Games, Catching Fire and Mockingjay, all by Susan Collins. I have the movie tie-in edition of the first one because when I got it, I really didn't care about the cover because I was just getting started with reading English books. And this was before I became obsessed with the series. Next is Unstern by Katrin Ilz, which is a German YA fantasy that you could translate to Unstar. A Shiver of Snow and Sky by Lisa Lüdecke. A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Maas And I Darken by Kirsten White Acid by Emma Pass Ferris by Marissa Mayer I have a signed edition of that too and I found it at the same bookstore where I found my signed copy of Warcross Red Rising by Pierce Brown The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hotkin Zero Repeat Forever by G.S. Prendergast And the German edition of Sinner by Marissa Mayer And now finally onto my third and smaller shelf. There's only one more row of books on here, but it also has my Hunger Games and Harry Potter collection, as well as my bow and arrows next to it. So the books on here are the rest of my black and brown books. For decoration I have this old tape where I painted the Guardians of the Galaxy logo on it. Then I have Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo, Elusive by Emily Lloyd-Jones, Defy the Stars by Claudia Gray, the German editions of These Broken Stars and Their Fractured Light by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner, the first and third book in their Starbound trilogy. And yes, they kept These Broken Stars as a title for the entire series in German and then they worked with subtitles. The Fifth Wave and the Infinite Sea by Rick Yancey. Die Seiten der Welt by Kai Meyer, a German YA fantasy that translates to The Pages of the World. Not a Drop to Drink by Mindy McGuinness. The Young Elites by Marie Lu. The Survival Game by Nikki Singer, and I think they did something incredibly clever with the German edition of it because the title is on the spine and then you turn it over and it's really gorgeous. And then there's another title on this other spine slash bookmark thing. <laughs> Promise of Blood by Brian McClellan. The Last Star by Rick Yancey. Graceling by Kristin Cashore. And finally, the German dystopia Flammen über Arcadion by Bernd Perplis, which you could translate to Flames Above Arcadion. And now on to my Hunger Games shelf. In case you didn't know, this is my all-time all favorite trilogy and also the one that made me become a fan of the dystopian genre. So I acquired quite some extra items over the years and I put all the stuff on a separate shelf. First, what is actually on top of the shelf is The Hunger Games Catching Fire, the official illustrated movie companion. And also on top of the shelf is this collector's edition of this magazine about the complete Hunger Games saga. Then I also have the Hunger Games special edition of the People magazine. My mom actually got me this from New York. I of course have my Mockingjay pin, this flyer from the Hunger Games exhibition in New York where I once went on vacation. Then I of course have the hardcover editions of The Hunger Games Catching Fire and Mockingjay and the 10th anniversary special edition. And finally there's my Harry Potter shelf. First I have this cute little old candle, this is not an actual Harry Potter merch item, but I just thought it was super cute and very fitting on here. Then I have a postcard of the Hogwarts Express and I got this on vacation in Scotland where you can go on a train ride along the exact same route as the Hogwarts Express in the movies. I have Luna Lovegood's Wand, the playbill of the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child play that I saw in London with some friends. I have a homemade golden snitch. And of course the books. I have the German editions of Harry Potter and the Philosophers, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and finally Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. And now I've said Harry Potter so often that I'm probably gonna dream about it tonight. And finally Harry Potter and the... <laughs> I got a blackout. Ah... Uh... What's it called? So that was my bookshelf tour. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, then give it a thumbs up and don't forget to also check out my book blog that I've linked down below. I post book reviews there as well as monthly wrap ups and tags and other bookish content. So I hope to see you guys there. Have a great day. Happy reading. Bye bye.